the second round of Sonic start. Spinball. Just gonna start. Just gonna start like that. Well, what do you what do you want I'm to do? I'm gonna yell. I was waiting. Well, when I hit play, I'm gonna yell. Oh. So I know when I'm gonna start the video. Right now we're in the, we're in the limo. all around us. There is blue, blue, and our faces are in the corner. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so yeah, is there anything you want to say? We're about to start it up. We just well, ended yeah. at the final game. This is we're gonna show the final showdown, last level of Sonic Spinball. The first three levels took me about I don't know. Would you say twenty five minutes combined? Something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. It's gonna be longer than that. All right. With this one. Start. Boom. Castle is falling. Is Metropolis. Look at this spaceship. <laughs> Look at this ship. It's going to rocket out of here. Whoa. Robotnik head. Shit. Like, if I'm going to make a spaceship, it's going to be my, my face. Yeah. I think that's that's only reasonable. Showdown. All right. So this is like lava. I got to go up to the Robotnik ship. So the thing about this level is like everything in this level is designed to bounce you into the lava. Right. I think that. And does can you only hit the lava so many times or no? Like on the sides, if you fall into the sides from here, it's like you're gone. You can get things that'll that'll help you, but for the most part, you fall into the sides, you're dead. Gotcha. On those side ones, since you don't really have any control over it, I think they they allow that. But so the first emerald's right up there, and you have to hit these triggers like four or five times to get these blocks and you have to hit it straight up to get them. Man. And it's kind of hard to do. And you hit that thing, you're bouncing all over the place, you're gonna fall in love. I could die. probably play this for three or four hours and maybe hit one of those. It's maybe. terrible. Like if you if you miss one, you, you bounce all over the place. And you can see me like see dead already. Boom. Dead. Like, everything <laughs> is in this level is designed to throw you into the lava. Like all the angles um, if you just, like the most common bounce off angle loops you right back around and hits you straight down there. It's really tough, this level. It takes forever too, it's very unforgiving. Robotnik is getting away, go, go get him. What, is, him. what does that mean? Robotnik is taking off from that ship, you know. Oh, so it's just reminding you like, hey bro, like, yeah, better go just, get him. Yeah, go get him. So he's at the top of the level, and you have to get these emeralds at the bottom, and then bounce your way up to his ship, get in there, and fight him. Man. Cray cray. It's, it's something crazy. In the bray bray. It okay. seems like this would be like... <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, why on earth is Robotnik have flippers everywhere, but right. also, <laughs> who is controlling them? And also... Because it's not Sonic. <laughs> why is a hedgehog... <laughs> blue. <laughs> Bright blue. Sneakers fighting a... Do you want to know the reason that they said he was blue? Why? Uh, it's really dumb. Does it like? And it's I don't know color? how canon it is, but it was in some comic somewhere. Uh, um, blue paint. No. So they get the shoes are the reason that Sonic is so fast. Right. He's wearing those magic. He's shoes. wearing those magic shoes from some type of doctor. <laughs> they gave it to him. Some type of science doctor. <laughs> and he was running so fast uh, that the color he just turned blue because that's the color of fast. Because oh, <laughs> he used to be a normal brown hedgehog. Right. Roly poly little brown. Yeah. No legs, really, of any But those kind. shoes gave him tood and blue. Very long human-like legs <laughs> yes. as well. Like, they stretched his legs out and gave him regular knees. Well, that was kind of the whole thing about the the era of anthropomorphic yeah. uh, mascot characters. It's like, you had Bubsy, which is terrible. Bubs, Bubsy. Bubsy, and his, he had Bubsy, Bubsy 2, Bubsy 3D. What is a Bubsy? Uh, it was a terrible, like, he's like a cat who also had a lot of tood. He had some tood. Yeah. Well, everybody had to have tood. Because they're all trying to be Mario. But Mario was not Mario an animal. And he really didn't have any tood, but... Mario had no tood at all. <laughs> he had no personality <laughs> at all in those games. I think that's the re Yeah, Mario just doesn't have a personality. This one's great. This time it's easy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Got it. Ah. Boom. Nice. What's but they the... had they had Croc. They had Gex. They had Gex. Um, they had uh, Crash Bandicoot, of oh, course. Man. The, the, the toot originally. He had a lot of toot, but that was like at the tail end of the toot. Yeah, but he was the toot in this toot. <laughs> and he had that Apoodle Guff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but there's just anthropomorphic toot characters of the 90s. Dude. What was the dog from The Simpsons? Like a Poochie. Like Poochie. <laughs> I, that was a good episode. Poochie had great I have tube. to go home now. <laughs> My planet needs me. <laughs> Emerald 2. So there are two emeralds in these side areas. So there's the main middle part that has one emerald. And then once you get that, or 
I had bounced over before I could get that one. I had, it was annoying, but whatever. Then there are two side areas that each have two emeralds. So there are five total on this on This, this map. is extremely intricate. This, yeah, it really is. And um, this, you can see why it took me years to beat yes. it because like it's very hard it's really hard i can also see why people at the party were like well, what are you doing here? yeah like how did you even <laughs> manage to do this you're like no one sits down and just plays this game it's not like a super fun game to sit there and play over and over. i really I, maybe it's in so agdq just kind of wrapped up not too long ago this is in january end of january they were recording this and agdq was in in the beginning of january um, and that's where they have a bunch of speedrunners. And I really want to see someone speedrun this game in particular. It would be so hard. I don't think anybody speedruns it. I don't think it has a big community. There's a ton of Sonic speedrunners. Oh, sure. They yeah. And they do amazing things with the games. Well, that, that, that's very straightforward. It's like, yes. there's a beginning and like this game, there's so many variables that you have no control over. So many things like the way you bounce. And even if you do the same thing every time, something different can happen just because of the game. Well, so a lot of, it, the cool thing about watching those guys um, is they uh, they come up with ways to because what you're referring to is what they call RNG or random, and they're looking random na random number generator a lot of variables and you and can't they control them. Trigger they do, they them. can sometimes manipulate that mm -hmm. to to make better odds. Yeah, it's themselves. really cool how they do that. Yeah, uh, I was mostly saying just like this game is weird and the way it is. things bounce don't always make sense and it's I don't think it's something that just changes every time. It's just kind of a slept together game. It seems like. It probably was. <laughs> probably <laughs> was. So now that I've hit all the buttons enough times, I can't stop hitting the buttons. Like, I <laughs> couldn't aim for them for my life, and now that I've hit them so many times, I can't seem to stop. Well, it's kind of like if you go to play real pinball, and there's always that, like, one hole. Yeah. And you're just like, for some reason you got that dialed in, but you don't want to be doing that. And it's weird, like, the, the first couple times I played through this, like, one game I just could not stop hitting one specific place. I was like, I don't even care about this. And then the next time I played I couldn't hit it at all. <laughs> and I was like, what is happening? Why not? Man, all those lavers. Now I'm back in the stupid... Now I've got this emerald and I can't stay out of this middle, middle spot. Now I'm dead. Too bad. The bad thing about this level is once you die, all of the things that you've done... You have to redo? You keep your emeralds, but, like, all those... Blocks that I knocked away with those, they all they're all back. Oh man! And until you break all those blocks, like some areas are inaccessible, you have to go around them or whatever. So it's very frustrating that all your work is undone. You don't just like pick up where you left off. The whole level resets except for the emeralds. Man, that would be a pain in the ass. Which is probably just because they didn't want to. I don't know, program into memory or something. Like they didn't want to. Yeah, I mean that's all. That's all the state of what where things are. It's probably really easy to program reset, say it. And, but like when you restart the level, they could just be like, "All right, yeah, reload that, reload it." Right, and they can just say like, "Yeah, the emeralds, you got the emeralds, so that's an easy thing not to load in there." And it all depends on how they're, not to get really technical, but how they're managing the memory and how things are. Because if it's just like the emeralds you get are stored in one byte, right? Um, it's so easy to just keep that and reset everything else. I mean, that's probably what they did. It is probably. <laughs> We're game designers. Um, I'm a programmer, I know that. We're both <laughs> professional game designers. Professional programmer. I'm not a game designer yet. I would love to be one, but I have nothing that makes me a game designer. Step one is to program Sonic Spinball. Uh, that's where everyone starts. I think <laughs> that's, that's everybody's hello that's world into game design. Baby's first game. <laughs> dead again. Man. Like, I just kept, this is a good thing I had so many extra mans. Okay, there's, here's something. Okay, I was just reading about this and where people call different things. Uh, when you um, complete a game, what do you say? I, what the game? I beat the game. You beat it, okay. I've heard people say I win the game, I or I won the game. I've I won the game. I, I won. Um, I've completed it. I've completed, uh, yeah, but beat the game. You beat the game. I always say beat. Beat yeah. the game. Like, you conquered the game. It had a challenge and you beat it. Yeah. Um, that's normal. So like, also like the the extra person. What do you say? Usually extra life. I say extra life. 
You say extra life, but I've started saying extra man because I think it's funny. I think it's funny, yes. So, like, how many mans do you have? Like... <laughs> but people legitimately say man. Yeah. Um, I've also heard people say... How many ups? Yeah, how many ups? Which, I mean, that's a Mario thing. Like, oh, I got a one up. Or a cool spot one up. <laughs> or, or the far more common cool spot. <laughs> the ubiquitous cool spot. <laughs> the... Because you know what seven is... Seven up is. <laughs> it's cool it, It's the uncola. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have that game. Yeah. Cool well, spot. you have to collect the word Uncola in yeah. that game. Because that was their tagline at the time that they released Make that. seven up yours. Yeah, that came for a while. Uh, didn't Jamie from Mythbusters build the uh, moving vending machine that shot oh, maybe, yeah, the that, cans at people? I thought, would probably I thought sense. they did. That's really fun. Um... I have to hit yet another button to hit some more blocks <laughs> to get another emerald. So every in this game, every 20 million points, you get a, a an extra life. And I have an six, extra man, an extra man, <laughs> an extra up, an extra up man. So I have 60, I have 65 million or so, 64 million. I'm pretty sure I end up at around 80 to get another extra one. Again. So that's why I've I've been able to die three times in a row and still have. Because you're, like you're racking season. those points up. Yeah, I had three extras. It's always good to have it. Well, that was another thing, too, in that party. Um, I had a few extra lives. So uh -huh. I did die a couple times. But, but it doesn't it doesn't so, give you... No. Nope. Oh, my God. It was like God. launching extra ball. Like, Pinball, <coughs> I had an extra ball, so I got to keep playing. That's lame. It wasn't like an actual one of my lives. So, like, they were like... I was like, oh, here, it's your turn now. Nope. All right, give it back. Sorry. Who was the other person... Playing. Um, so my friend Andrew, you know Andrew, Andrew I Preston, know Andrew. and uh, I think Mike was probably playing too, and then this guy Kaz I think was playing. Mike, I've never met Kaz, but Mike, it has been on the show before. Mike has been, he was Wikipedia Mike. Mike is a has-been. He was uh, on one of the Vanders episodes. Wikipedia Mike. All he did was, look, <laughs> like, he was very silent for the first few minutes, and then he just started reading from the Wikipedia page. So, um, this game... <laughs> That was like, it's Russian. Yeah, that was always, oh, Mike, you just learned something from Wikipedia, did you? <laughs> uh, Pat, I, my friend Pat might have been also uh, playing, or at least there. He was at the party, at least. You just saw Pat. I was just uh, hanging out with Pat a couple weekends ago. A weekend ago. A couple? A couple weekends ago. I think it was just one. Two uh, weekends. Two weekends ago. Yes, two weekends ago. Our exciting lives keep us <laughs> so busy. Stay tuned yeah. for more talk on which weekend I saw that. <laughs> it was two ago. <laughs> I think this is the last Emerald. So, yeah. You feel like, oh man, I've got... Oof, Ooh, that was oof. close. That was a close one. You almost got lava bound. You start feeling like, hey, I've got all the Emeralds. This is gonna go fast. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling to... like you're about to get the other emerald and this is gonna go I'm fast. Gonna beat the game pretty soon. You're gonna win this game. And then it's like, oh yeah, I still have to get to Robotnik ship and then deal with the annoying, the annoying ass boss of this level. Oh, by the way, so here's here's another one too. Um, what do you call, like, if you beat 1-1 one, one on Mario, you go to the next what? Level. You say level, I say level. So they'll say stage. I've heard stage, I've heard board. 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 Really old. Because I, I think the in, in arcade games, and maybe old pinball games, they called them boards because it was like static. There was no scrolling. Sure. So it was like, oh, this is board like, one, like Zelda. board two. Well, Zelda scrolled. But was kind was, of, was kind Zelda of. Zelda top down? Zelda was top down and you cut to move. I'm talking like uh, Donkey Kong, kind of. Uh, oh, or like Pac-Man. Like like the, the Pac-Man, The Mario static. arcade game. Yeah. yeah. There was no like movement up or down. Okay, it was like I a am, static I frame. I, I can see that. I can see that. Um, so yeah, I've heard, Still dumb, I've, heard, I've heard board. I think we're just outside the board age range. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah, I say level. Yeah, I say level as well. But um, I've had, I've but said it's stage, because Sonic, but... they're called stages. Right. Like stage one, stage two, but I still say level. Yeah, next level. Yep. The next level. So yeah, it's just funny. I was reading an article on Gama Sutra that they interviewed people from around the world for their, what they call different things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What are, do they have different ones for bosses or old boss? I don't know. You know, I don't know. I always call them bosses. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I wonder what else would people would call them. Speaking of boss, there's a really great board game called Boss Monster. I've still not played it. I've just bought it. Super. Or helped someone buy it. It's a great game. You are the boss monster. 
It sounds cool. I like the cover art. It's very pixely. Yeah. So I'm going into a ship now. Gotta you gotta break through that glass. glass. There are three ways to get in the ship. You can bust through this glass, you can get the little hangy thing down there, or go through the middle. So, this is the boss, and he's got these He's arms. so big compared to you. Oh yeah. Well, I'm a hedgehog, <laughs> and he's a human. Well, but in the cartoon <laughs> show, you're like, you're about the same. So, he's got these arms, and he's got these, uh... That's no good! Like, tube socks that also flip you out. And you have to hit that button on the bottom, and then it rotates the things. But I have not, in all my years of playing this, been able to discern any noticeable <laughs> pattern to yeah. how it does it. I know the socks come after the claws, and I know the emptiness comes after the socks. But sometimes you hit the button and nothing changes. Sometimes you hit the button and it changes twice. I think it's like totally random. It could be, it could be completely random. And you just have to go up there and see. And the yeah. thing is though, if you hit the socks, it breaks you against one of the windows again. And if you do that three times in a row, you fly out of the spaceship and have to start like from the bottom again to get back. I like there. how supposedly like you are trying to chase down Robotnik to get a monast. He's got a very convenient thing for you to like. <laughs> but like you waited, like he's like, I better not leave yet <laughs> till Sonic gets here. <laughs> well, I think the point is like he's flying and you're like going up there, but yeah, he's flying very slowly. <laughs> very slowly. And he's like, oh, dang, like, my wind socks, which I put inside <laughs> my spaceship. It's very windy inside. There's a lot of wind going on. You gotta hit this guy ten times. That's a lot. That's not the standard three. That's yeah, not it, three or, I've heard, five, like, maybe. yeah, ten is a lot. Ten's a lot. But you can hit him multiple times in one, like, opening. So, so the button, what are you trying to do with the button as opposed to that the... That rotated the different, like, uh, things. And so now you can go up and hit him. I can't. After a while, it will rotate <coughs> away from this. So if I bounce, it says not much time. I don't um, know how you got that paddle to flip you up. That was right. Weird. That's the thing. When I start to <laughs> yeah. out, I'm like, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> you gotta hit it like crazy. I'm also, you know, the Sega had A, B, C. So A was left paddle, B was right paddle, C was both paddles. Right. Why would anyone not just hit yeah, C? C? Yeah. Like I'm a both paddle pusher all the way, and I know some people play pinball and they're like very. Precise. I'm sure there's a reasoning for it. I don't think this game gets the no way, man. Real I'm just like <laughs> mash that C button. Oh no! I fell all the way down. Wow! This is part of the raisin. Man, you crumbled on down all the way down. <laughs> it's no good. <laughs> That's no good. So I Julia like... White's most famous role as oh. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> Yeah, he went, it's so funny. It's like he was Stefan the whole time when he was Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Family Matters references. Oh boy. Um, but like, he was such a dork, and they're like, all right, we need someone with a lot of attitude who's really cool. Of too. course, Urkel. <laughs> uh, so, right, yeah, I have 70 million and 59, so I'm about to get another extra man. I don't think I actually get one, though. I think I end the level with before I do. Man, you really gotta make your way all. Does, so does it keep how many hits you got on Eggman? Yeah. Man? I don't know if I died if it would. Oh yeah, yeah, probably not. I don't think I die, but I can't remember if it would reset my hits on him or not. So I'm just like desperately trying to get to one of the outside spots. How frustrated were you when oh, you my, fell all the I way was, down? I like, was so annoyed. <laughs> And I think I fall. Did out you of think about quitting? No, because no? I had gotten this far. You know, it's like 45 minutes of my life. <laughs> <coughs> this was the third time I tried it. I wanted the report today, so it's like <clears throat> I didn't want to stop. Committed. Mhm. Mm I will say that uh, it was a pretty smooth run through up until this level. Like, just kind of flew through. Yeah, it was until, yeah, you really crumbled on down. And then, man, this level is, is like, it's tough. It's tough stuff. What's the eruption timer? So, uh, these little trip, these little paddles or whatever the targets. <clears throat> it's just extra points if I hit all three. Oh, okay. It's just like eruption bonus and like the screen shakes. But in the, in the main one, if you hit all the paddles, it sets a like an explosion on the side, so if you fall off the side, it'll bounce you back in. Oh, you back! I'm back, I'm back. Oh, you can fix those windows right quick. Yeah, I mean, he's got some little dudes in there who just fix them. Robot next ship. His ship is a weird design, too. Like, where are the. It's just. Everything's get... rivets and LEDs. <laughs> how does he get in? <laughs> he's like huge! He's like a giant band. He is smashed in there. <laughs> My my favorite part of Sonic 2 is when you fight like the big robotic thing at the end. Oh like, man! He runs in there and like jumps into the head. Yeah. And, like, he that that is such a hard boss. 
For Sonic 2? Yeah. Yeah, you really gotta get the timing down. Yeah. You gotta know how to do it. The Sonic and Knuckles one, too. Like, it's an even bigger version of yeah. that. Like, you gotta fight the fingers first. And do you fight the Metal Sonic in that? Or is that Sonic that's 2? Sonic 2. Yeah, that's Sonic 2. Uh, there is a Metal Sonic boss in Sonic and Knuckles, but I think only if you play as Knuckles. Okay. Knuckles only. Knuckles had a lot of two, too. Oh, yeah. They were really, like... And then, they, like, I think it's funny that Sonic had all this toot, and they're like, to balance them out, we'll give them this cutesy little... Tails. Friend? Oh, Tails is great. Friend? I don't know if they're friends. Miles Prower. Miles Prower. Get it? Miles hey. Prower. Oh! So I've got six more hits, and um, the last few are very frustrating. It's, like, so nervous. I, I don't know if it happens yet. I don't know. There's five more. Man. I do manage to get two hits at once at some point. How did you do that? I will. I don't know. It's uh, You'll see it. Um, my socks. If, by the way, audience, if you like Sonic uh, and you have a 3DS, um, I do not. The, I'm, I'm just talking <laughs> to the to the many viewers. Uh, the Sonic 1 and 2 3D classics on the 3DS are awesome. Uh, they did such a good job. It's M2. They did fantastic emulation. And it's 3D, so like they separate... The background layers. Oh yeah. And 2D old 2D games that they convert to 3D by separating out background layers from foreground layers look really great. Yeah? Yeah, it looks really cool. I beat Sonic 1 on there, I am beating Sonic 2. It's just it's probably one of my favorite ways to play Sonic. I don't have a 3DS, but it sounds cool. It's pretty cool. 3DS is a fantastic system. I remember playing Sonic 2 on the Game Gear. Uh, that I also have on my 3DS because they have some Game Gear games the, on there. The Game Gear Sonic 2? Uh, it's bad. It is bad. <laughs> it's really bad. I beat three Sonic Game Gear games on the 3DS and none of them <coughs> have been good so far. Yeah. I remember the Sonic 2 game was like kind of like the regular one, but worse. Like they, they're, Of course it was working on more limited hardware. Sure. But... They made the sprite so big and the screen so small. It's like all it is is Sonic, and you can't see. Like, there's a lot of blind leaps of faith. Uh, man, you are really. I fell out. Man, but I'm scary. Good. Also, Robotnik's ship like spits out these little bouncy platforms. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, they're, they look like bombs almost. They're. That's weird. <laughs> it's super weird. I think I fall down again too, and I Man. don't bounce back up as easily. It's it was a very frustrating, and yeah. it's like I'm right at the end, and I keep hitting those stupid. Why does he have those thrusters inside <laughs> of his ship? Well, he's got another ship in case he needs to do escape oh, yeah, from the like, ship. He's just a nesting doll of spaceships. <laughs> yes. He's a Matryoshka doll. A Matryoshka <laughs> that's, doll. That's the word. That's... I don't speak Russian, but I think that's what it is. That doll. It's famously featured in The Man Who Knew Too Little. Yes. Oh, here we go again. Man. And this time, I think I hit one wrong. By the way, I don't think you can use the word famously and the man who knew too little in the same sentence. Bill Murray's premiere role. <laughs> you really got famous on that one. That was his breakout moment. <laughs> it's not a bad movie. It's funny. But it's it's not normal Bill Murray funny as you think of no, it. It's, it's kind of like slapstick a little it's bit. It's real stupid. <laughs> But Your wife loves it. Oh, she does, and it's a, it's a really funny movie yeah. too. But there, I mean, there are just a very a few really great lines in it that are just like when you I don't know, it's funny. Yeah, it is. It's like I said, it's very uh, un Bill Murray or not Murray esque. <laughs> For those of you listening who don't know, I guess they're watching. They're listening, but they're watching. Uh, they're doing both. It's a let's watch. <laughs> Listen, we need to have a let's let's touch. Let's go. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> I, I heard it now. I heard it now. Uh, in this movie, so Bill Murray is, um, he's participating in a, like a live theater thing. It's called the Theater of Life, and it's like a role-playing adventure. You're thrust into a situation, and everything is made up, but it's supposed to be like a real life. Mm -hmm. But what happens is a crazy mix-up, and he's actually... Things are actually happening to him. Oh, so you fell. I fell down again. Way down. So he thinks he's a spy, but he's not. And so there's one line where he uh, he thinks he's talking to an actor, but it's a real woman. And she's crying because uh, they're in this dangerous situation. He's like, how do you people do it? <laughs> and she looks at him crying. He's like, did you poke yourself in the eye? <laughs> he's like, are you thinking to yourself, my dog is dead. My, <laughs> my dog is dead. And he's like, I can't do it. 
<laughs> so like everyone thinks he's this crazy weirdo who has no feelings. Yeah, because he's just like everyone is an emotionless active. husk. He keeps doing things like, can we do the scene over? Like a really dangerous situation. He's like, wait, hold on, can we do this again? Yeah. I want to start again. It's Mr. Magoo. Right. He's Mr. Magooing the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's it's super funny and, and totally unrealistic and dumb, but really funny. Yeah. Anyway, that is the man who knew too little. Uh, I think we are forgetting Bill Murray's true premiere role as the voice of Garfield in the oh, Garfield oh 3D boy. movie. I did not see that movie. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good not, at all. I did not see it. I mean, it's pretty much lost in translation, but with Garfield. <laughs> it's, it is a Sofia Coppola <laughs> classic. <laughs> man, the Coppolas are pretty prolific. Did you know that Nick Cage is a Coppola? I did not know that. He is. He changed his name. Did so. you know Emilio Estevez is a Coppola? <laughs> <laughs> did you know that the animated Garfield from Garfield and the He movie is also a Coppola. Is a, is a Coppola. 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 Have you ever had the uh, Coppola wine? I've not. It's pretty good. They have a wine, huh? Uh, Francis Ford Coppola has. Francis Ford Coppola directed Jack. Yes. The last laser disc ever produced. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> I actually think that's true. That's crazy. I just can't believe he went from The Godfather and was like, I'm gonna do this movie about a man who grew too fast. And grew. I mean, it was it was sad. It was a very sad. It was like, it was one of those movies that you you start out watching like this is gonna be a great funny movie. And you're like, oh, this is really sad. This is so sad. Oh, I am so sorry. It is not Jack. What is it? It is. The Hong Kong film Tokyo Raiders <laughs> from Golden Harvest. Why did so, I think it was, it was Jack? I'm still in the bottom of this stupid level. I can't get up to Robotnik's ship. At this point, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I want to go to bed, and I'm like, I just have four more hits on this guy, and I can't get up to his ship. I'm still busting these blocks. I can't stop busting these blocks for no reason. Ugh. Um, yeah, you are so close. Yeah, it's, it's just, so far away. And I'm just like, don't die, don't die, don't <laughs> die, don't die. All right, now, now I'm now fine. you're now you're doing it. Once I'm up here, it's like smooth sailing, no problems. I'm in it to win it. Man, you're costing him so much in glass. At least I got the spin dash. Like they kept yeah. the spin dash, even though it's totally unnecessary, yeah. except for two two parts. I think it's so we broke them, and then like we just. Look, okay. If, if you have Sonic, you must have a spin dash. <laughs> wow, that one was almost. Dude, I thought almost I thought toast. I was busting back out of this, and I was like, no. My gosh, <laughs> I'm gone again. Err, click. click. But I'm like, I don't know what's up there. I gotta try it. And clear. You did it. All right. So oh, I, four more to go. I think. This I thought one, you did it. I'm gonna get two hits on this next one. I think. Yeah. Slow down. One. One. Two. Three. Two. Oh, it only registered I two. I did two. But that was still pretty great. That was great, yeah. I've never done that before. That so that's a, a new tag. That was a Tim Franklin first. A Tim Franklin watch, original. Watch this next one. I have one more hit. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, man. man. <laughs> oh, you don't even get it. I didn't get it. Wow. There Got you it. go. No. Wow. Spun right across. Didn't get it. <laughs> I could not. At this point, <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was whispering expletives to myself. Upstairs, I didn't want to wake my child. <laughs> Boom! Nice! Got it. Nice! I don't know what's falling off of them. Those came out of nowhere. They don't look like anything <laughs> no, they in don't. this level. They're just like, uh, we have this thing. Got this extra up. sprite. Goodbye, Robotnik! Robotnik just like crumbles into little squares. He yeah. Like, you know, that's how people die. Rangs bonus. Chain rings. That was it. That was the end. Let's see this ending. Oh, yeah. It's pretty great. I want to see it. Bring it on! Ball Stop balls. totaling things! 98... I don't even... 98 million? 98 million. Yeah. Wee! We're both falling! Oh my goodness! Wait for it! Boom! Oh, miles per hour picked you up! The Sonic 2 plane! Yeah! Oh, actually, there's a biplane Sonic 2, wasn't it? Yes. Speaking of that level, that's one of my favorite levels of all time of any Sega game I've ever played. That, that one you just played? No, the biplane level in Sonic oh, 2. Oh yeah, that's Where you're fun. flying on the top of that biplane. Yeah. It's really great. Uh, when you're supersonic and you fly faster oh, than the plane. I've only done that a couple times. It's pretty cool. It is the best feeling. Sonic 2 is the one where you have to get all the balls, right? Like you have to jump in color. That's how you get the Chaos Emeralds. No, that's Sonic and Knuckles. On the, like, the little mini world. Yeah. Sonic 2 is the one in the like the skateboard uh, shafts, the half pipes. All right, anyway. You didn't even record the credits. I was. It said development staff it was, and then it, it was, cut out. It was like 11.15. <laughs> I was like... 
I actually wanted to cut it when it just said the end and then went to develop staff. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. So well, that was Sonic Spinball. We finally recorded Sonic Spinball. After all these years. Cool. I well, want to. maybe we'll finish The Lost Vikings someday. Yeah, we've really stopped playing that. Yeah. we. Well, the last time I really was like, I'm like usually never into recording like long playthroughs, but the last time I was like, I, yeah, and you're like, I gotta go. Really? <laughs> yeah. You were like, I want to do one more? Yeah, because you had, we had recorded something before. Um, I want to say... Was it Clash of Clans? It was Clash of Clans. And we had played, we were playing The Lost Vikings, and I was like, all right, you want to do another? You're like, I really gotta, I really gotta go. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we'll see ya. <laughs> um, well, I think it was like, I remember, I don't know, I think I'd just been gone for a long time, and like, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Next time on the next time. Next time on the next time. (laughs)